Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kaboomen. This is a quick desktop support tutorial on how to share an extra drive over the network. So why would you want to do this? If you want to have a centralized point on your home network and you want to share a drive that has, for example, some media files on it or some important files that you want to have quick access to or simply take up a lot of space, and you want to be able to simply access it from another computer on the network, this is how you would do it. One way to do that is to share it. So let's go through this and how to do it. Does it say that this drive here is the drive I want to share? It's called new volume and it's under letter E. We're going to right click it and we're going to select properties and then we're going to look for a tab that says sharing. We're going to select sharing and then underneath what we're looking for is a button called advanced sharing. We're going to select that and then we're going to simply do a check mark right here where it says share this folder. And uh, one last thing that we have to do here in order to be able to, you know, read and write on our share drive over the network, we have to change the permissions here, which is super simple. We're going to select permissions here and we can see that by default, everyone is allowed to do so which normally is fine. And this is why by default, you can only read, but you cannot change or write or anything like that. And especially you don't have full control. So if you want to simply select full control and allow everyone that's on the network have access to this, you can certainly do so and that would solve your problem. However, I like to add my own login because I don't want everybody to access it. So in order to do that, I'm going to remove these. I'm going to leave it read only so that everyone can see it, but they can't make changes. And I'm going to add my own login. So if, if I click add, I can add my own login name, which is used for this computer where this drive is located. This is incredibly important. You want to use the login for this computer. So login name for my computer is Kaboomman0. And I'm going to, you can simply double check by click check names if you want, but I, I know it exists obviously. So I'm just going to click OK. Now we can see that it's there and it's under the name of the computer, which is called Kobuman, and the login name is Kobuman0. So this is important to remember here that the name of this computer where this drive is located is called Kobuman. So before we leave this pop up or before we leave this, uh, box, we have to make sure that our login is selected and then we select full control. Because if you go down to here, we can still see that everyone only has read option. And then if we do select Kobuman, we can still see that it is full control. This will allow us to create new files, folders, drop, drag and drop anything we want and full access to it. Incredibly important. All right. Now let's click apply and OK. After you click apply and OK, you can see that now this drive is being shared and it's indicated by two little guys here as an icon. Now let's go to the other computer and see what we can do to access this. Here we go. Here's our other computer that we're at. And now we just need to access it. So how do we do that? We remember the name of the computer, which is Kobuman, correct? We're going to type in backslash backslash Kobuman and then another backslash and we're going to type in the letter E, which was the drive letter for our drive that is being shared over there. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. We have access to it. But wait, this is under everyone. Remember, we didn't put in our credentials at all. It may ask you at some point if you're doing this for the first time to actually put in your credentials. But if you didn't get a pop up, you'll be using it on the default, which is everyone. So how do we rectify that? I mean, it's great. If you got the pop-up, you can just simply put in your login information, but this is just us able to access it. Let's go ahead and create what would look like just like a regular hard drive. And that is called mapping the network drive. So we're going to select our computer and we're going to select map network drive. Now let me go back, make sure you're at this tab where it says this PC and then select computer up here and then select map network drive. And here we can leave the drive letter to whatever we want. And then we're going to type in again, backslash, backslash, name of the computer, which is Kobuman, and then backslash and then drive letter. One thing to make sure to do is place a check mark right here, which says connect using 
different credentials. This will let us specify the login we want to use with full control. And with a pop-up here, uh, we can see that um, I already tried this earlier, but let's go ahead and this is how it looked like. I'm going to click, you know, use different account. And then I'm going to type in the name for the login on the remote computer, which is Kobuman0. And then I'm going to type in my password and select remember my credentials. You know, kind of remember to select that. Click OK. And now we're inside of our drive. You can see now it comes up as a network location. Another way to do this is add a network location, but I just map it as a network drive. So now that we go inside of it, we have direct access to it. We can create new folder. We can go inside, create new files, drag and drop, whatever we want. And it's all great and dandy. This is also a good way to use a remote drive as a backup location if you are doing desktop support. For example, let's say you're you know, reimaging a computer and you need a remote location to use as a backup for users' profiles. This is a good way of doing it. So you have a backup. Also, if you're replacing your hard drive or something like that, that you need a good remote place to quickly back up all your files. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please share it or like it. If you have any questions, I am here to help you answer them. So feel free to ask me anything. Thank you and have a good day.